7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui is live at our digital desk watching the dozens of comments piling up on our Facebook page. Ali? Well, that's right, Ashley and Jeff. From conceited to confident, Donald Trump is getting some mixed reaction among voters across western New York. Meantime, his supporters say he might just be onto something. Upstate New York, I'm like the most popular person that's ever lived virtually. Donald Trump's Upstate latest vote of confidence coming from none other than himself isn't a shock to many. He's a jerk. Why? He's just arrogant. Arrogant and uh, just too self-possessed. Doesn't surprise me because I think he has nothing, uh, nothing but positive things to say about himself, <laughs> whether they're truthful or not. There's a lot of things that he say, says that are obviously not truthful. He's a narcissistic. I would never vote for a guy like that. Even Donald Trump diehards like Michael Caputo aren't surprised. Trump believes he's, quote, the most popular person that's ever lived when it comes to upstate. Caputo says he knows the cards are stacked against Trump here in the blue state. But he says if any Republican can win, it's Trump. I have more work to do for Trump upstate, right, if the Republican Party leads him out as their nominee. But also, uh, downstate, he could possibly bring in enough vote to offset the heavy Democrat turnout in favor of Clinton, let's say, where he might just win the state. The last time that happened was in 1984 when Ronald Reagan took New York. And if the latest poll is any indication, the streak isn't likely to be broken this year. According to a Siena poll, Trump's favorability only sits at 28 percent among upstate Republicans. If Trump wants to move the needle, Caputo says he needs to be more presidential moving forward. And the more people see him as someone who they might see in the White House, uh, the more likely they are to, to be less opposed to his candidacy. And even that might not be enough. There's nothing you can do to get my vote because he, uh, he is uh, he's one of the most rude people I can ever imagine. Now, the New York primary is set for April 19th, and there's a good shot we could be relevant in the presidential race. Some analysts say, though, the candidate will be chosen by March. Time will tell and we will be watching. We're live from the digital desk, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.